what's our supply look like? We haven't got any many tools. That's a bit of a shame. I do need to move this around a bit, honestly. We need a lot, lot more going on there. How's our encyclopedia look? Uh, we've got the thicket to hero attack speed. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. And the village. A result of the forest attempts to understand human civilization. Um, prime matter. See, I, I'm, I'm starting to get a feeling that this is a, that the amount of times that I've had prime matter is kind of streamer luck levels because despite having played a, a personal game for about the same length of time and and more or less having having battle uh, fields everywhere. I've yet to unlock Prime Matter on that save. It's curious. Very, very curious. Okay, I'm, uh, I think we're more or less caught up now. I can currently craft tools or I can craft food. Good to know. Good to know. All right. I don't think we've really unlocked anything particularly new. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to go with. Uh, hmm. What do we feel like to, to to ease ourselves in? Should we go for a full deck run? Just to, just to play around a little bit? I don't know. Maybe we take out a bit of a cemetery as well. I'm pretty sure Surviving Mouse is still free on Epic. Is it, Hollow Soul? That's actually pretty awesome. Pizza has been acquired. Well done, Bilal. I tried to eat early because I was like, ah, you know what, I'm, uh, maybe I should eat. You know, because uh, I'd started fasting, and I was like, eh, maybe I should eat before a stream. And my body was like, no, what the? I didn't ask for food. Why are you giving me food, you silly human? Get rid of that nonsense. So uh, it did get rid of the nonsense. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, fair enough. I'll, I'll, I'll wait until I'm told next time. I'm like, I'm playing with a full deck. How dare. Shh. Um, I don't think we'll roll with Chrono Crystals. I think Cemetery will be quite nice in Ruins. Uh, okay, confirm. Now then, question is, which character do we want to play with? Um, I think we're going to go with the Ancient Crypt, and we're going to go with Necromancer for this. I don't really care too much for having the shield with the necromancer. I mean, having an extra piece of equipment that gives us access to some more stuff is always nice because more more stats. But I like the ancient crypt because it makes everything weak. Or rather, rather sorry, yeah, I like having the sand and the ancient crypt in combination. So we're going to drop the meadow. We're going to take the desert instead. I might actually drop the rock as well. Um... No, actually having these, I think, because the forest gives the necro some nice uh, attack speed. The desert is going to pull every creature's HP down, whilst this is going to be increasing my HP constantly. So I'm going to, you know, more or less, hopefully, break even, but everything else is going to be becoming increasingly, increasingly more of a glass cannon. Hi, Alec, have a great night. And I vote for Necromancer. <laughs> Necromancer Dash, I approve. I approve of how just straightforward and honest you are about this. I like necromancers. I am one. You should be a necromancer. Okay. You know, can't can't argue with that logic, really, can you? Oh, the uh, Surviving Mars on is free on Epic without DLCs. To be fair, though, that's still... Yes, a Paradox game without its DLCs is scarcely a Paradox game, but, 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 what I will say is if you wanted the game and the DLCs and you were going to buy it elsewhere, if you get it with... Uh, assuming the DLCs are all available on Epic, I, I haven't checked, but if you get it on Epic, then you can just take remove the cost of the base game. You know, you, you still actually quit in, but only if you were going to get it anyway. Uh, we are going to... Hmm, how many skulls have I got? I've got one skull. I would like to have two skulls before we go on to the second area. So let's start with this. I really like the green planet. I thought the green planet was fantastic. Avacromancy. Is that where you summon Avax? My lord, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I agree with that. Maybe uh, maybe you'd randomly summon different types of Avax based on... Uh, I need to place that down as well. Uh, based on uh, just random chance, but kind of like uh, quality. 
here. We summon different skeletons based on uh, based on what's going down. Well, what what would happen? Would you, would you sometimes summon a dark avac and you, it's just luck of the draw? Whether you whether you get uh, whether you get uh, horny avac, regular avac, dark avac, it, it would be madness. Who knows? Pop that up there. Tired Avak? No, that Avak doesn't exist. If you've managed to summon a, a Tired Avak, that's, that's when you know it's actually just some sort of uh, eldritch horror wearing a Navakian disguise. There are no Tired Avaks. Um... I mean, evasion is nice, but skeleton level is better. That's how we find more Avax subtypes. Oh, right, okay. So, uh, is, it kind of, is it kind of like some sort of belief system? That un until until someone believes in it, that kind of Avax doesn't exist. But one, once, once uh, someone has managed to invoke that Avak, it now exists in the world. Okay, I, I, I see. I, I kind of like this uh, mythology we're building here. I approve of it. Right, let's have a look at what we got. Right, Grove. I want that there so I can put a Blood Grove here. Because we are fighting against the Lich, so I want to block as much of the main area as I can. Sadly, this whole area is going to be a tricky one for me to block, but we'll see what we can do. Unless we stick it in a box, and then it's a Schrodinger's Avak. Or, what if, if you stick, stick an Avak in a box, it just becomes a Q Avak? You know, because the whole... Yes, no, maybe state of, of, of quantum shenanigans. That's just just one small small facet of the quantum realm. We have no equipment yet, and this displeases me. Cult of Avak, rise up! The secret all along was that the cult of Avak is entirely populated by Avaks. It's it's kind of like the Council of Ricks. There are no non-Avax in the Cult of Havoc. <sighs> I'm fairly certain that no one doesn't know about Q below. I, even, even if TNG like wasn't wasn't uh, a, like I don't know they they grew up somewhere where TNG wasn't translated into their language or something like that I'm fairly certain just by being on the internet you absorb a passive level of understanding about the Q continuum uh, we're dropping defense uh, skeleton quality up yes I approve okay Avak I hear you and I raise you the cult of the cult of Avak oh no is this going to be like a ghost of a ghost kind of scenario? Uh, is it first going to be uh, like some sort of like pyramidal scheme of, of, of Avak cults with, with, with like almost like like cells of, a, of, of some sort of organization? And, and then then if, if, if you manage to drill a little bit deeper, you get some sort of prime material Avak. Oh, no. I'm not sure this is going anywhere. Good peeps. I, I think I think you, you should probably quit while you're ahead. I require healing. Yeah, there we go. Is it just me, or do the skeletons, the skeleton warriors, sound like they're fighting with lasers? Because I definitely get the impression they're fighting with lasers. All T uh, TNG talk begins and ends with Gowron and his crazy eyes. I know. No. That is not true. 
Um, hmm. I'm going to pop the cemetery around here. Because I want it after this. We can have a village around here somewhere, I think. Um, that being said, actually. Ooh. One day, we're going to raise the, uh, the lich as a ghost. Because it has a soul. We just need to fight it enough times. Um, uh, the attack speed is nice, but the rest, not so. Uh, this one's quite nice, though. Yes, I'll take that. I don't know, though. 16% uh, attack speed for a drop of... No, I, I like my, my uh, health there. I like my health. Okay, who decided it would be a good idea to give the skeletons lightsabers? I know, right? Darth Lich. I am amused by this. More forests, please. Attack speed is up to 13%. I like it. We almost got our... Um, harpies. I don't want that. Does attack speed increase the rate of summoning? Yes. Here's what, what I understand of the way that, that a, a necrobancer attacks. If you do not have your full complement of skeletons, as dictated by max skeletons, then when you attack, instead of doing damage, you will summon a skeleton. If, however, you have max skeletons, you'll do your damage, which is minimal as a necromancer. Your necromancer is never really going to do damage to anyone. Um, it's just not the way that's going to pan out. Um, okay, now that is good. That's some passive regen on top of. Uh, well, we're losing a little bit of uh, a little bit of um, of HP. Only twenty four though, in exchange for eight percent attack speed and one point two regen. I think that's absolutely okay. Uh, new ring, summon quality, nice regen evasion. I could drop a little bit of evasion in exchange for summon quality. No, I think I'll actually drop the attack speed. I know that's kind of sacrilegious with a uh, with an acro, but we're getting a decent amount of incoming attack speed from the forest we're building. She's a geek. Thank you so much for the gifts. Up, you've been so generous today. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Well, again, Avak, do you know exactly what magic damage does? I have a feeling it might bypass the, uh, the target's armor, but I'm not sure. Um, certain enemies seem resistant to the damage. For example, skeletons don't seem to take much damage from regular attacks. However, magic damage seems to just hurt them. I think magic damage cannot be blocked. Whereas, because defense, for all intents and purposes, just gives you an extra percent of max HP equivalent to the amount of defense you got. So if you've got 22 defense and you're going to have, you know, 22% more max HP effectively. Um, how that is, is, is expressed in the da incoming damage, I don't know. But magic damage seems to, to not care. Whether it's just doesn't care about the defense stat or a certain enemy has native resistance to certain types of damage, but magic damage just doesn't care about it. One way or another, magic damage seems to be the way to go if you're fighting enemies like skeletons. Alright, as fun as it was to be here for the start, it is a tad late. Have fun, everyone. See you in a few hours, maybe. Take care, mate. Enjoy. But that's my that's my guess on how all of that works. Oh, we leveled. Thank you very much. 
Okay, so field practice. Plus 0 0.25 to skeletons for every, uh, level for each loop. Awakened fragment. 2% chance to get a whole resource sphere instead of a chunk. Preparation for a sandwich. First two, uh, we're going to go with this one. We're, it's not exactly an early point in the loop, but uh, still, getting that going now is better than later. Ooh. Let's keep hold of that for now. I'm undecided on whether I want to swap out this ring for it. Having an extra skeleton would be quite nice, though. Right, I would like two things to happen here. I would like zombies. I don't want to have to deal with the neck, the lich with vampire, though. So we're putting that over there instead. Uh, some more ruins, though. And I can have the ruins straight after. But I'm going to have to wait on that one. Oh, like I started playing this game because I watched you play it. I'm playing Loop Hero now, in fact. Well, that is marvellous, mate. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying it. And also, who dat? Murder of Phoenixes. Thank you so much for the tip, mate. That's incredibly kind of you. Diochen Faurion. Really appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Continue to build up the thicket. Want more and more and more attack speed. I think we're going to stick with the summon quality for this fight, because I'm a little bit concerned about it. Now, what I could do is get rid of the vampire if I really wanted to, but I kind of like having the vampire around. Vampires do give decent loot drops. There we go. Nice tanky boy. Chonky. Oh, tanky boy and a warrior. Fantastic. I've lost my uh, magic armor now. Ooh. Double fantastic. We've now got a blood growth. Okay, we're doing okay. We're about... To, you see that little blue diamond there? Or it's kind of like a little uh, marker on my health bar. That's the point at which I will use a potion. We just got an orb of expansion. Now, the other reason why I like having vampires along with the four... Um, the four ghouls... Vampires are a guaranteed add in any group. A tile can normally only have four enemies on it, but a vampire gets added after the battle starts, uh, in effect. So it will get if there are four people on the tile, no more enemies will be added to that tile. But once the battle starts, the vampire joins you, now you've got five enemies. The way that we get this is by fighting four plus enemies at a time. So it's an important one to have. The more enemies, the higher the chance, I believe. Now we're going to drop that there, so that we can eat the uh, the lich when the time comes. Uh, I could put another grove here. <clears throat> but I'm actually kind of a fan of... Uh... Yeah, I think we're going to have ruins there, once this when, once that's all cleared out. We'll see how that goes. Praise be Yavak, finally a slow burner of a player. Someone who doesn't have half of their map being five enemy combats at loop three. I appreciate how calmly you're playing. Well, I'm glad that this uh, this style is uh, more interesting to you. Uh, right, Grimoire. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, I like the skeleton quality. If this had more skeletons on it, I would probably take it. But uh, as it stands, no. Um, I'm going to pop that there. Eventually we'll get a blood grove around here, I think. Have I got any reason that you're stacking archer-type opponents next to the boss area? Uh, well, usually, like, for, th for the beginning, this is why I keep an oblivion or two, uh, for the beginning, it's an easy place to put them. Because initially I didn't have any tile that would block what was in front it, of it. Because this is one of the first tiles that I actually got. And until you get a, a, a village, you generally don't have anything that you can put in front of the ruins to deny them an assist opportunity. 
The worms are incredibly easy to kill, but give good loot. And also the ruins gives random um, resources, which is quite useful. But they will assist anyone in combat. So ideally what you want to do is have a tile in front of them that can never have an enemy on. Your camp early on is the only tile that you have that has that quality. Because um, even one of these tiles can spawn uh, a slime, and then you might be stuck in a fight with a slime with a bunch of worms just pelting you from from range. So by doing this, I give myself an easy fight against the worms early on, but before the, the lich shows up, I'll probably delete that. I see. So, no weird plan involving fighting the boss with a load of archer support. Uh, no, generally not. I think that would usually be a bad idea. But now we've got this. It's going to be especially nice. Okay, let's have a look at these. Uh, summon quality. Max skeletons plus one. We would lose attack speed 8%, which is actually quite a, quite an important one. Um, summon quality, skeleton level. do want the skeletons more than than the uh, attack speed right now. By dropping the, it's, it's a bit of an odd one. By dropping the attack speed, I'm going to uh, less often get to the max skeletons, but still, I think it's uh, I think it's worth it. I don't think it would be wise to drop my evasion, though. Because right now, I've almost got a 1 in 5 chance of dodging an attack, and I'm about to hit some, some chonky areas coming up. And against skeletons, my skeletons aren't going to be particularly good, sadly. There we go. Tanky Boy's going to draw all the attention. And the Blood Forest is going to... The Blood Grove is going to eat all of these creatures because they've got souls. I'm going through my potions, though. Something rather, rather bad. There we go. Uh, okay. I don't really care too much about the Mountain Peak. I guess I could pop it down. Uh, plus 6 HP for each adjacent rock or mountain. Okay, maybe. Maybe. Let's pop it there. Now, we've got a goblin village. Don't feel like playing with that, so I'm just going to nix it. This is why I always keep a couple of oblivions uh, in reserve to clear up the map where you need to. Spiders are generally an easy fight, but I'm already down to half of my total po potions. I'm not particularly happy about that one. Need to get some extra levels on my uh, skeletons so that they can uh, deal with my enemies a little bit more effectively than they currently are. There we go. I absolutely adore these villages. As a necromancer, they are amazing. A necromancer is a hard counter to these villages in particular. Because they never attack. They only counterattack. The necromancer will generally never attack. Because they will be killing my skeletons probably faster than I can summon them. So I'll just spend my entire time making more skeletons who will be killing them without ever being attacked myself. That's the hope, anyway. Haven't quite kept up with this game. What does the forest tile do? Okay, well, there's two types of forest. The forest and the thicket. The forest gives plus 1% hero attack speed, and the thicket gives plus 2% hero attack speed, and every 10 of them, you spawn a forest village. The forest villages are cool. Very cool, in fact. Ooh. Uh, I don't know. Going back down to a 1 in 4 chance to summon an empowered skeleton is a bit naff. We'll hold on to it for now. We'll hold on to it. I just spent today catching up to this on YouTube. Well, there's actually only, I think, six more videos to go up on my second channel for this. So you are actually pretty close to, to where we are. I'm playing as the necromancer, yep. 
There we go, tanky boy. Right, finally we've got a treasury card. Took us a while. Uh, okay, let's start building this up. I want to keep that at the four. One of the really nice things about this game in particular is how much time I'm afforded in reading chat. It's wonderful when you've got a game like this. You can just chill out and, and engage. It's not a common one, sadly. Uh, oh, damn it. I thought that sound was the uh, precursor, the harbinger to a, uh, a tanky boy, but no way. Three potions still, but we are getting a lot of health now. Every kill is give, giving us more health because of the crypt. There we go. That's what we need to see. We need more of these empowered skeletons, please. And a lot more attack speed. Like, crazy more attack speed, in fact. Okay. Vampire's gone, but they don't lose the vampire effect. Uh, ooh, plus one to maximum skeletons, or three strength in skeletons will be joining the hero on every loop to help in battle. Second thoughts? No, we're gonna go with the, um, plus one maximum skeletons. No reason not to. Hi, Cecil. It honestly feels like a game designed for streaming. I feel like game devs should do more of that. To be fair, quite a lot of them do. Quite a lot of them do. Okay, we're gonna have a bit of a nice battle over there. All right, let's place down a couple more bits and bobs. Um. At this point, I'm no longer too concerned about losing out on this um, grimoire, but uh, we'll see. We will see. But yeah, one of the reasons why I like fighting Scorchworms in, in uh, melee combat is they have so little damage. Because the first row gets minus 60, second row gets minus 30. If they are in the archer slot, then it doesn't affect them at all and they hit pretty hard. Right now, everything has got withering. or They, they are 8% lower in HP. And I believe that's the same for me and the ske my skeletons. But I'm constantly generating more health because of the Ancestral Crypt. Plus 3 HP for every enemy with a soul killed. Spiders don't have souls, which is a shame, but, you know, it's just one of those things. Spiders are a nice enemy to kind of soak up space. So typically what I'll do is I'll put dangerous battles in the tiles that a spider's nest can lead to because it'll fill them up with things that aren't particularly dangerous for me. Oh, 3.95 is nice. And attack speed plus 6. I don't think I can turn that down. I actually don't think I can turn that down. We're going to have to lose the 25% quality there. That's 16 attack speed. That That is way too good. Uh, Bilal, spiders get dangerous in the third chapter. I imagine everything gets dangerous in the third chapter. From what I've seen, every chapter gives everything one more special ability. And it's like, yeah, bad times. I'll keep that one at the four. Hmm. Um. Potentially a dangerous move, but we're going to try it. We've now got five skeletons, 39% attack speed, and a 50% square summon quality. So, uh, you know, it's literally flip a coin whenever we summon a skeleton, whether it's going to be empowered or not. In this case, wasn't, but, you know. Uh, let's pop that down there. Gonna continue to buff my health where I can. Alec, like you figured out the Lich's weakness. Um uh lack of HP. That seems to be his one true weakness. If he weren't a Lich, I would say his weakness was a lack of blood, but in this case we'll just go with, with HP. 
Interestingly, he shares that weakness with pretty much everyone. By Jove, he's got it! <laughs> there we go. Right. Um, 